Right now, nearly 400 people are still unaccounted for on the island of Maui following those deadly wildfires earlier this month. Officials released a validated list of the names that are compiled by the FBI. Investigators say if someone is on the list accidentally and they are safe, they should come forward and contact authorities right away. An additional 1,700 people who had been reported missing have been found safe as of yesterday afternoon. We now know at least 115 people did die in the smoke and flames, making this the deadliest wildfire disaster ever in the United States. Right now, a popular restaurant and bar is raising money to help those affected by the Maui wildfires. The bar owner are bringing in some star power to raise money in the form of actor Mark Wahlberg. And Steve King joins us from Rockwood's Tacos in Delray Beach right now. Steve, tell us about this fundraiser. Todd, well, there was a giant line of people waiting to see him, but Marky Mark has now left the building, so people have cleared the area. But a lot of excitement here as Mark Wahlberg was here just a little while ago, pouring his Flecha Azul tequila for people, selling bottles as well here at Rocco's Tacos on Atlantic Avenue in order to raise money for the people of Maui as they try to recover from the devastating wildfires. Also, Mark Wahlberg is friends with Rocco, the owner of Rocco's Tacos, and the restaurant was at capacity when he was here. Again, he left just a little while ago, and some people waited for hours to try to see him but did not have the chance to get in and see him. But I was really close to Mark Wahlberg earlier, within a few feet of him, when he arrived a little earlier this evening. Hey, you guys all got to make sure you come to Rocco's And make sure you contribute. We're doing lots yes, of amazing of things to help the people of Maui. My brother Rocco, so make sure you guys support, okay? Thank you guys for coming out. And the fundraiser, again, just wrapping up now. We're going to have more on the fundraiser tonight at 11, but for now, reporting live in Delray Beach, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.